Hey there ninjas, what's up? Welcome to the YouTube channel for the Childcare Ninja Boss, childcareninjas.com. I'm Nikki B, your host and founder of childcareninjas.com. Welcome to the channel. So, for those of you who haven't been here before, you know that I talk a lot about planning. And if you haven't been here before, then you definitely want to check out some of those things around here. Um, but I definitely talk a lot about planning in your childcare business. And since we are at the end of January, I'm hoping that you have already at least started doing your planning for a great year for 2023. Now, here's the thing, though. One little hiccup that I see come across is that in planning we are always thinking about the wonderful good amazing year that we're going to have with all of our new clients coming in all of our new centers that we're going to open however most of us kind of don't think about the road bumps that might be coming up throughout the year so this is the perfect time for you to go back in and kind of look at those things that are going to help you avoid some road bumps in this new year or that will help you just outright av avoid them all together okay and not have to deal with them by implementing some things in your planning up front you can actually just go ahead and cruise by a lot of them and those that may still come up those little road bumps that might still come up in your business won't be as um stressful and overwhelming if you have already planned for that so that is what today's video is all about so go ahead um grab your cup of coffee your tea your glass of wine and meet me on the inside ninja you got this okay ninja so welcome back okay so when it comes to like planning for road bumps there are like five things that i believe are really really super helpful in helping you look at the possibilities look at what you are really trying to do and look at the potential for those hiccups that might go wrong within your childcare business so we're going to take a quick look at those five things that you can really go ahead sit down re-look at or actually just create if you have not already done so and if you haven't uh, uh, uh. but um, we're going to take a look at those five things today so that you can go ahead and begin to actually plan for a smooth sailing in 2023 okay so first things first the infamous business plan which those of you that know me or have seen anything that I talk about when it comes to the business plan, I'm not a fan of the business plan. I call mine a business roadmap just because roadmaps are fun. They take us to destinations that we're excited about and we want to go. Um, so, yeah, but for most of you, you call it a business plan. But when is the last time you have actually looked at it? Have you looked at it compared to where you are now? From where you actually wrote it have you made any progress are you going along with what you intended or have you completely dropped off and just gone in a whole new direction and if you have that's okay you just want to have your plan reflect that right okay <laughs> because when we are going somewhere if we decide that we are going to go somewhere else we have to come back and redo all of those directions to that destination same thing with your business plan like I said roadmap but you want to make sure that you are headed in the right direction you can't use old directions for a new destination so think about that and make sure you jump in and spend a little bit of time revamping that so that it reflects where you are actually trying to go okay all right so moving on to number two okay <laughs> number two is your insurance policy have you looked at it recently have you actually looked and seen if you are really covering what needs to be covered in your childcare business oftentimes we do not sit down and look through our policy we don't um, really call our agent unless we are making huge changes in our childcare business however the thing the problem with that is that some small changes can actually affect your business in a great way and so let's say you started off not offering transportation and now you do offer transportation even if that's only to 
the schools in your local area or community, you want to make sure that your business insurance is going to cover that because sometimes and oftentimes our personal car insurance will not cover that when we are carrying children to and from in our vehicle during business hours. So you want to take a look at the things that you have changed about your child care business. If you are doing 24 hours, chances are you have made changes but if you have not you definitely want to do that asap um okay um but little changes and even of course big changes like if you've gone from your home daycare to a building commercial space or something like that the chances are that you actually did look at your insurance policy but if you've made those slight changes that you think don't affect your insurance and how you're covered um you want to just go ahead and give it another look okay <laughs> better now than later <laughs> okay um okay and so then also looking at obviously the emergency plan which we technically have to look at as child care business owners um and in the child care field we have to look at that at least once a year whenever we are updating it for our states or at least most states kind of have a certain time frame it might be less than that um that you have to update and you know kind of redo or revamp your emergency plan for your child care business and that is wonderful but have you actually like gone through it in at that in-between stage and said oh well we made these changes this staff isn't here anymore do they even know some of the changes that we made that type of thing yes we want to and our goal is to actually you know add that into our training and do everything by the book when it comes to our emergency plan but i will say i have seen where we have not looked at or people have not looked at their emergency plan since the last time they had to, had to and one thing you don't want to do is get into a habit of only looking at it when you have to make the changes also doing an additional kind of training with your emergency plan just updating your staff routinely regularly maybe even a pop question here or there you know <laughs> like okay but just a simple reminder that you don't forget about your emergency plan and then think about things that may affect it such as new businesses in the area businesses that have left the area how does that affect your child care business if it affects your child care business but if it does you want to recognize that know that and share that with your team members prior to you actually having to use it okay so emergency plan as well make sure you're going back through it check out the road bumps that could get in the way and make sure you fix them now okay parent handbook okay <laughs> most people look at this you know pretty much once a year um sometimes however i have come across and i have to admit even in my past have not done it on a yearly basis um and have actually ended up like looking back and saying oh my goodness i haven't updated this thing and like well it's ancient okay so make sure that you actually go in and take some time to think about all those things that came up last year okay that's the perfect place to start and think about how you want to go into 2023 handling those types of issues if they should come up this year if you haven't already made your changes now is the perfect time to change that i usually and i know that a lot of other child care owners do as well make all those types of changes at the beginning of the year end of the previous year type of thing so that parents are aware like look these are the changes we're doing this is how we're going to handle after school time this is where parking has to move to all those little things that could be hiccups later on um, or road bumps later on you want to try to handle at the beginning of the year um, it's also kind of nice to handle it at the beginning of the year because oftentimes that is when you get a lot of new clients coming in it's the new year everything is new 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 everybody wants to make their changes and so daycare is also sometimes one of those things that people are like well you know what maybe it's time to look around you know switch up my child is growing maybe this particular setting doesn't fit my child anymore maybe they've become a little more outgoing and we need something bigger so the a lot of changes happen at the beginning of the year so make sure that you are implementing the changes that you need to within your parent handbook and last but not least the staff handbook 
the perfect time, perfect time to make changes to your staffing or your team handbook. So make sure that you do it in a way that, you know, is going to be simple to actually, you know, address with your team and share with them as far as the changes that they're going to be, you know, that you're going to be implementing and make sure that you train them on it. Make sure that they understand the changes, but also understand why you're making the changes. So this is the perfect time to make all of these changes, get them out the way, um, go back and the best place to start whenever you're trying to look at what types of changes you want to make is your previous year, your previous year, your previous two years, um, taking a look at those things that did not necessarily go well the previous year or time whenever that may have been and say this is how I want to handle it moving forward and get it on paper write it down make it plain right um but put that down and make those changes and share it with your parents your staff whoever you need to share it with moving forward whoever it affects so make sure that you do that um, this is the perfect time to do that like I said it's the beginning of the year everybody's making all kinds of changes resolutions all that fun stuff so why not go ahead and make sure that you have planned out for the potential road bumps in your upcoming year looking at all the wonderful great things that you plan as far as you know bringing in new income bringing in new clients opening a new center all of that stuff is wonderful and it's all great but so often we overlook the things that possibly could happen while we're doing all those amazing things in the new year so take a moment now plan for those things and I guarantee you it still won't go like you plan but <laughs> at least you have something in place to kind of fall back on and say this is how I thought I would handle it this is how it works and this is what I need to do but you have a starting point and that's always a plus so I hope that these things were helpful to you today and I hope that you will share with me which plan you plan on, which plan you plan on, which plan you plan on implementing or updating for the road bumps in your new year. All right, ninjas, I hope you got value out of this. And if you did, make sure you subscribe down below if you haven't. Also visit us over on the Facebook page and check out our amazing new app. Child Care Ninjas by Nikki V. It's an app available on the App Store, so we're so excited. Check it out. Link is down below, and I will see you next time. You got this.